So many of you guys have an unhealthy addiction to guitar porn, which gave us an idea for a series. Welcome to Guitar of the Week, Episode 1. In this series, I reveal one guitar a week from the family's collection. This isn't us flexing, saying, look what we've got, blah, 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 blah. It's not the case at all. This has taken years and years of secondhand purchases to get. We're not loaded in any sense of the word before anyone assumes anything. To kick the series off, we're looking at this ESP Edwards Les Paul made in Japan as part of the Lacquer Taste series. It's seen here in vintage Honey Burst. It's got JB59, mahogany body, binding right the way around, mahogany neck, rows of fingerboard, stays in tune really great. And if you're after a guitar that's basically a Les Paul but don't want to spend Les Paul prices, this is the solution. This was a car park deal in the middle of Chester a few years ago and it's a really, really light guitar too. Bought it for about 360 quid-ish. It's an unbelievable steal for what you get and it looks modded. This is a, a JB and a 59 as I say already. Superb guitar, really well made. It's got the long tenon neck construction, although you can't see that. It is a superb guitar. I know a lot of people in the comments are gonna go, they're made in China. Some are, but these, as part of the Lacate series, they are made in Japan. All of the bodies and necks and everything are cut in China, but they are assembled and, in my opinion, are made, become a guitar in Japan. And they are superbly well crafted. They're absolutely amazing. Really, really great guitar. So if you wanna get a great Les Paul and not spend Les Paul prices, Seriously, consider this as an option. Let's have a listen. Cheers for watching this week's episode. Next week I'll be revealing another guitar, so please stick around for that. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll see you next time around. Take care.